friends and welcome back to another video on the channel so in today's video i'm going to be giving you guys the best tips to abuse pathfinder's grapple ability so as i'm sure most of you guys are aware pathfinder's ability can do a lot of awesome things including grappling onto zip lines and enemies but in this video we're going to specifically talk about how you can swing so much more further using the grappling ability and also get around the map so much more faster so as always want to be featured in my next video be sure you're liking it and also commenting down below in the comment section in today's video we have white was who says wow a 17 kill game nice you handle pathfinder well especially at the end of the clip how do you hold on to the grappler swing back after the forward momentum well that's exactly what i'm going to show you guys in this video so if you use the grappler without doing any sort of movement with your character it just goes straight to the point where the grappler attached to as i'm sure most of you guys are aware now if you're also looking around whilst using the grappler so that means if you're using your mouse or your right analog stick just to look around it also does nothing and as you can see it still goes straight to the point however if you're using your strafe control so that's a and d on the keyboard or the left analog stick to actually move your character you can see that we're moving left and right and this is one of the crucial controls you need in order to swing far using pathfinder now the second crucial step is the jump now let me speak to you guys more detail about the jump because you need to time the jump perfectly in order to swing far and gain that momentum so you don't want to jump the second you press your grappler to launch you want to time your jump just before the grappler actually attaches onto wherever you've set it so don't press the ability button and the jump button at the same time you want to press the ability button first and almost when it's just about to attach that's when you press the jump button and after a bit of practice you guys will get it spot on every single time so before you grapple you need to know where you're going to be swinging you're going to be swinging to the left side or the right side now whichever side you're swinging you want to make sure there's nothing actually blocking you and you want to make sure it's quite an open area after that if you're swinging towards the left side you want to make sure that your left analog is at 10 o'clock and on keyboard and mouse you want to make sure you're pressing forward and the strafe left keys if you're swinging towards the right side you want to make sure that your left analog stick is at two o'clock and on keyboard and mouse you want to make sure you're pressing forward and right strafe key now this is where the important part comes in whilst you're actually doing this you want to make sure you're using your right analog stick if you're on keyboard and mouse you want to use your mouse to actually look in the direction that you're swinging so if you're swinging towards the right side you want to make sure that you're using your right analog stick to look over to the right side you don't want to be looking at the grappler you want to be looking in the direction that you want to swing and so if you're swinging towards the right and you're looking left then this is basically going to cause you to do like a rotation so if you're constantly looking at where the grappler has landed then it's basically going to cause you to do this rotation so you're not actually going to be able to swing off in any direction but if you do want to do a rotation or you want to change the direction that you're grappling if you want to aim at where the grappler has latched onto uh, if you keep aiming at it whilst you're turning then it's basically going to cause you to rotate the only time you will actually get taken off of a grapple is when you aim past 90 degrees now if you want to swing around the object that you're latched onto you want to make sure your right analog stick is not aiming past 90 degrees to where the grapple is latched onto because otherwise your grapple will just disappear and you'll fall back down to the ground so i'm going to show you guys a quick in-game example so i'm attaching myself on the top corner of this fence but i don't want to go straight over and i want to swing my way around the fence to almost three quarters of the way around so what i do here is i use my ability i use the grapple as soon as my grapple is about to attach onto the fence i then press the jump button but also put my left analog to two o'clock at the exact same time i hold that two o'clock position but i'm also moving my right analog stick slightly to the left because i don't want to get cut off by that 90 degree cutoff point if my plan was to go straight over i'll then keep my right analog stick slightly to the right if you're playing on keyboard and mouse you want your mouse stick slightly on the right because once you have hit more than 90 degrees you will stop grappling now one quick tip i want to give you guys when you're doing this after you have latched off to the grapple and you're landing back down to the ground if you want to hold crouch you can actually slide so far if you're keeping that momentum and as you guys can see from some of these clips by me sliding i'm sliding almost three or four times faster than you can currently slide in this game with the right practice you can really take advantage of this grapple technique in game this is actually a really advanced tip and it can take some practice i mean you're not going to get it straight away and it will take some time to get used to so if you don't get it straight away you can't really adjust to the technique give it time and keep practicing and i'm sure you guys will 
get there in the end. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like down below. Likes always help my videos out. And if you're new to the channel, first of all, I'd like to say welcome. And second of all, I'd like to say be sure you're subscribing so you don't miss out on any of these future Apex Legends videos. Thank you all for watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll catch all of you guys out in another Apex Legends video. Never